Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm another box break guy and it's grading day. That's right, my first order back from TGA. So let's see what we got. All right, so the cards just arrived today. I'm trying to open this up, trying to make it difficult like some of the openings are for me. So just a nothing special, plain white box, taped up around, USPS. I'm still making it more difficult than I have to. So turnaround's supposed to be 30 days. They extended it 30 to 45 days. I fell within that window. So it took a little bit longer than expected. They got the cards on the 5th of January. I just got them back today. Is that 24th? Granted, it is supposed to be business days. Not calendar days, but still fell within that window. Utility knife probably would have been better. They really do not want me to open these cards. There we go. All right. So here's what it looks like inside. Sticker. Grading, our, grading authority changing the game. Some packing. I imagine that's my order slip. All the cards together. Primary grader was Troy, head grader. I have no idea, I cannot read that. Favorite card, Squirtle. A nice little thank you. Now, I am unsure which Squirtle was their favorite because there's a few Squirtles in here. See, so I'm not sure. So with nine cards in total, I believe I sent in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So nine cards in total. And it's peel to reveal. So that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't think others do that. And we'll find out the grades together. Let's see. These are older cards. I guess we should put the older cards in the front, right? Because they're probably going to be lower scores, just on the nature that they're older. A few cards I had sent in going in, I, I was pretty confident like, and hopeful that we can get close to a 10. This was one of them. That was another, I think. Moltres was pretty bad centering, so I don't think that one. I think there was one more. I think the Alistair was pretty good. Yeah, the Alistair was pretty good. So, so we'll save the two VMAX Zards and Alistair for last. Open some of the older ones first. I guess we'll just go in order a year from that standpoint. And start off with, actually then, we'd be starting off with our first edition Squirtle, shadowless. As you can see, centering is not the best. Right to left from the front, down on an angle. Back's in pretty good shape, but again, centering is not the best. So, not expecting a lot here. Needed to get it protected more than anything. So, whatever we get, gravy. The peel, 
to reveal. It's a five. That's not bad. Not bad. Label sweet. Have our serial number here. I think you can scan, I guess it'll take you to the site, maybe to the pop report. They actually just released the pop report two days ago, uh, but you get to choose your label. So that's pretty cool. It feels pretty solid. Oh no, what is that? Did they slab it with, I think they slabbed it with something inside. Look at that. What the heck? Really? Card does slide, as I've seen with other companies. So I've had it, I mean, it's been years, but you can see a video from my, my old uh, videos a few years back. I had a GMA order. Um, they slid just like this. I mean, this is this looks a lot more premium quality than GMA, and I imagine I won't be getting tens galore like I did with GMA. So, I mean, eight out five. It's not bad. Again, the centering is pretty bad. Outside of that, maybe one of the corners, a little, two of the corners, showing a little bit of whitening. So, so far, I think we're off to a good start. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Squirtle Team Rocket First Edition. 8.5 again. Again, it can't be mad at it. Cannot be mad at it. A little bit of whitening. Centering a little bit better than the other one, but again, not, not mad at the score. Not mad at that at all. Taking the plastics off so they're easier to stack. All right, Charizard. From Evolutions. Let's see. Again, okay, this one looks pretty good. So, I imagine it can't be lower than, than the Squirtle, right? Nine. There we go. Take it. So I did, as you can see, the blues for the Squirtles. I believe I chose red for every Charizard. Squirtle, first edition Shadowless. I'm just checking real quick. I didn't even think. I'm just checking the label. I, there, some, some folks have had some issues with the labels. misspelled things like that all right another charizard from evolutions let's compare the two not, not much of a difference to me let's see oh 8.5 so a little bit a little bit worse but still not bad not bad I guess it's more whitening than the other one. I'll put them in grading order, like quality of the grades. Now this one, I pulled from those Pokeball tins. I was excited. I mean, I love it. This, you could tell right off the bat, was not in the best of shape. The corners are weird. There's whitening, and then there's a little chip at the bottom here. Like, I don't even know what the heck that was about. But I wanted to get this slabbed, but I hope it's not horrible grading. Oh, eight. That's our worst one so far. All right, let's put that at the bottom. All right, Moltres. 
Again, another one of my first. This is my first alternate art that I pulled. But I, I did not think going into it that this is going to be anything good. You can tell, look. Look at this top to bottom. Horrible. Super thick at the top. <laughs> not the bottom. So I'm not expecting... I mean, it's probably like an 859, I guess, like the other ones, right? The front, I guess, is immaculate, but let's see. <laughs> 9.5, what? Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if I agree with that, but... Oh, man. That was a surprise. I was not expecting that. Not expecting that. Man, it's just, again, that centering is bad top to bottom. Maybe that's the only flaw. Maybe. But I, I'll, that's awesome. I love the black. The black to go in there with that. That's a, that's a beautiful card. All right, so those were the cards I was not expecting to get the best of grades. So I, I, I guess I can't be mad at it, right? Next, we'll go with the Shining Fates VMAX Charizard. So I was pretty confident this was going to be a good score. Centering a little bit on an angle, but outside of that, I thought it was pretty good. So, again, these three I have last, I thought were our best chance at the best scores. So, let's see. Nine. So, not even the best card so far. That goes to that Galarian Moltres. So that's unfortunate there. Not bad though, not bad. All right, now these two cards were the ones I was pretty confident about that had the best chances at getting a 10. So let's hope two cards left to get a 10. Alistair. My first rainbow I ever pulled. Ah, 9.5. Close. Ah, so close. I went with the silver. Or white, I guess it is. I thought I picked silver. But that's a beautiful card. I mean, the slabs remind me of PSA, like, exactly, to the T. All right, last chance at a 10 in this grading order. And this is a, a card that's going up a lot from when I purchased it. Even raw. Fingers crossed. Ah, uh, 9.5. Uh, I, I guess I can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it. If I was going to get, I guess, the best score I could get on something, this is the card to get it on. That. Now, let me just look at this, right? Let's look at the Moltres again that we know is, is pretty bad centering. So you can see, actually this. Actually, it's not that far off. Wow. It's a little bit better. So th this is not as thick on the top as the Moltres. It's pretty pretty close, but not as bad. So maybe I was just totally off on the, on the Moltres, eyeing it up. But this is, this is a beauty. All right, real quick, let's do a recap. Going in score order, 9.5, Charizard VMAX Rainbow, Alistair Rainbow, Galarian Moltres V, Alternate Art, there were a 9.5, so three 9.5s, Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates, 9, Evolutions Charizard, 9, Charizard Evolutions, again, 8.5, Team Rocket, first edition Squirtle, eight and a half. 
first edition base set Shadowless Squirtle, eight and a half. Then our worst card, Cosmic Eclipse, Blast Toys, and Piplup, eight. So, I guess real quick, my experience, again, a little bit late from the turnaround, not, not against what they had said, right, when they updated it to, to nine, or sorry, 45 days turnaround time. So within the 45 days, uh, semi-responsive on Twitter, I mean, it came out when I was talking to someone else and said, hey, we're here to help. And it took like three days to respond in the DM, so that wasn't the best, but I mean, overall, what you're getting, the turnaround time, the pricing, pricing was was reasonable compared to the other companies out there. Um, compared to my experience, I mean, I haven't sent a lot into a lot of places, so I don't have a lot to compare against, but what I can say is the slabs feel just like PSAs do. A little bit of movement, maybe a little bit more so than PSA in some of them. Uh, definitely better than the GMA slabs that I've had and grading quality, right? You can see they're not just handing out 10s. I sent nine cards in and not one 10. So that's a good thing, right? I want them to be more strict. You don't want to just get something oversaturated. Pop Report just came out, so I'm excited for that. Obviously, you'll be able to see uh, what their grades are like throughout the board from that standpoint. Um, I have, I've sent stuff to, to Beckett. I've actually done it in person. They used to be my favorite slabs. Like they were just solid, heavy. I had some sports cards done in them, but I'm actually leaning more PSA now. So this kind of, again, it aligns with that. So if, if you don't have a lot of money, you want to get your card slab protected more than anything. Uh, I think it's going to take time to get stuff from a return perspective. Value-wise, if you're trying to sell the cards to flip them, probably TGA is not the way to go, at least right now. We'll see as they continue to grow. Um, CGC, I have some slabs from them. Haven't sent any and I just purchased. Because what I like to do is when I'm purchasing a card, something I didn't pull myself, I want to look at, all right, what's the raw card going for right now versus what's like a PSA 10 going for right now or a CGC 10, nine and a half, whatever, something around there. I tend not to purchase anything below a nine, but really target the tens if I'm buying something graded already. And that's where you got to weigh out the options, right? Like as you can see, I sent nine cards in to TGA, not 110. So even if it's $20 a card, it was a 25, so something like that. I don't remember, to be honest. I'm throwing it in as a chance to get a 10. I mean, again, some I didn't expect, but so I'm spending the for the card raw if I didn't pull it and then spending the cost for a grading in there versus potentially getting a card that's a PSA 10 that's cheaper than it would be to buy it raw and then send it in. Example, I have a, a few uh, cards I just purchased that probably go for like $20 raw that I was able to buy for 50 to 60 PSA 10s. Sending in the PSA at minimum is $50 and that's if you wait in their queue right now as they're trying to ramp back up from the effects of COVID. So I would take a look out on cards like that. So if you're interested in getting cards slabbed and you don't already own the card to send out, look at purchasing PSA 10s, 9s, CGC 9s, 10s, 9.5s out the gate and not purchase raw. So definitely keep an eye out on, on eBay, usually why I, I spend my time not, and I know some people are out there, TGC player, things like that, but just look at the recent sales, look at the trends, look at how much it's gonna cost you to send a card in. And it's hard to expect the card on online, right? I don't purchase it unless I can see the back. So I don't just look at stuff from the front. So I just wanna throw a couple tips out there for when I purchase things. So I have a bunch of slabs that I own from PSA that I purchased already graded. Um, and then you don't have to wait for the cards too. It's so anxious to get my cards back. I was so excited to get these back. Again, a little disappointed though, tens, but again, in the, in the same respect, excited that hey tga maybe is going to be about a viable option and honestly i'll probably send some more cards and if i'm going to have more cards graded i'm going to send them in um not sure if i'm going to go out there looking to buy tga graded cards out the gate like i would have a, like a psa um but if i'm going to send stuff in myself why not especially again i'm not a grader right i assume some would be close and they are there's not tens so Food for thought. Check out cards that are graded already and see if it makes sense to pick them up. For cards you pull, give TGA a shot.
But I appreciate you stopping by as always. If you have any questions about my, my grading experience with GMA, I mean, you can check that out from a few years back. Um, or even want to see or hear about some of the slabs I picked up as I was explaining the uh, raw versus graded uh, dilemma. So let me know. Hit me up in the comments. I'll, I'll share. I can even, again, share exactly what those cards are that I picked up. But thanks for stopping by as always. I'm excited. We got Brilliant Star's official release day tomorrow. I've been anxious to open that. People have been opening up some pre-release stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming in the mail. So we'll be opening some stuff up as I get it. So more to come from a box break perspective. But I wanted to switch up my grading day. I'm excited I got my cards back. Going to add them to my collection. Until next time, have a great night.